hi, hi, hi. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is another late vlog. In actual fact, we've gone into Friday morning. I've been at my sister's all evening and um, this is the opportunity opportunity I had to complete my 25th vlog, I believe, or 26th. So I think it's the 26th vlog. So four more days to go till I get to vlog number 30. My name is Sylvia Smith of Incline Training Consultants Limited and I have been vlogging every day for the past 26 days. I'm doing a 30 day vlog challenge and this has all been about becoming more consistent um, in vlogging and I suppose there are a number of lessons that are transferable to um, to other aspects of one's life when it comes to trying to ingrain some new habits. So happy to be here, happy that it's my 26th vlog. Um, what's actually happening because I'm vlogging every day is that we're getting quite a nice collection um, on my YouTube channel. If you want to continue to follow me, do click the notification bell below. Um, also, if you want to make any comments, please feel free to uh, make comments below. If you click the notification bell, uh, the red notification bell, whenever I um, post something, you will be notified. So that's kind of cool. But I'm pretty weary. It's pretty late. As I say, it's the early hours of Friday morning. And um, I'll, I'll use this short time I have with you just to reflect on the day. Um, today, I started pretty early. Um, so I did some grocery shopping. Since I got back from from France, I hadn't uh, replenished our groceries. So that was kind of cool to leave here, aiming to get to the store for 8 a.m. And I got there just after 8 a.m. and managed to whiz around <clears throat> and do do some shopping, which was really good because I did it quickly. There was hardly anyone in the store. Um, and part of me is thinking, this is probably something I could do on a regular basis, but it all really depends on what my schedule is for that week. But it was really, really efficient. Uh, I got back. I then uh, had to get myself ready to get to Peckham. Because I had a meeting in Peckham for 12. Um, I got there. Unfortunately, the people I was meeting with were late, so I sort of took the opportunity to do some work, some administration, checking emails, and so on. Um, and then, you know, when the folk did turn up, um, I met with her, and then I continued after that. Well, after a bit of lunch, I continued working through. I was quite determined that I was going to get a report completed, and plus I had some other administration stuff to do. Um, so I'm pretty, pretty pleased with my productivity today in terms of my day job. Um, this vlogging represents my side hustle, if you like, and um, you know the reason I'm actually wanting to be more consistent online is because I've just partnered with uh, a company called Elite Marketing Pro um, which is an education platform that teaches folk to set up business online so that is what um, has spurred me to really make um, a big effort to to sort of get a regular put myself regularly online um, I'll, I'll probably do some Facebook lives soon. I'm thankfully back or out of um, Facebook jail. I was in Facebook jail for a while because um, I think I mistakenly uploaded uh, some copyright material from my um, from my radio show, so they put me in jail for a while. But thankfully, I'm back. Um, 
and hopefully I can be a bit more careful going forward. I'm not really understanding how it is that some folk are able to to sort of do Facebook lives for quite long periods of time and don't seem to be affected. Or perhaps they are and I'm just not aware of it. But anyway, that's something I, I obviously want to avoid in the future because Facebook is going to be one of my platforms for posting um, live as well as obviously uh, making connections and engaging with you. So that's that's part of why I'm doing this. Um, also to mention that book I think I, I, I mentioned yesterday which was uh, a book by a comedian called uh, Tiffany Haddich, an African-American comedian who um, has been, I mean the book is essentially about aspects of her life and um, I finished it today the audiobook very good as I said yesterday a lot of cursing um, and you know when you kind of peel away a bit of uh, that there's a, a pretty tragic story really in terms of her life and some of the things she's been through and she didn't she hasn't gone she hasn't exhausted it by any means but she gave a bit of a flavor of some of her challenges and struggles in, in trying to um, progress her, her comedy career but some of the other things she faced along the way and uh, just to mention one thing is, is the whole kind of uh, sense of homelessness that she she experienced as um, as she as she sort of makes her journey and on, on more than one occasion found herself living in her car I just can't understand how, how, how that can happen really um, and it's not the first time I've heard that story from folk who live in, in, in the States where you know when they can no longer sustain accommodation the alternative is living in the car wow that's that's unbelievable um, and you know again speaks to me about the necessity of having uh, some safety net for, for people when they're down on their luck. I mean, you know, we're living in the 21st century, we are, as I continue to say, we are each other's keepers, you know, I don't care what side of the political divide you're on, we are interdependent. Um, so those things always sadden me a bit when I hear, you know, I mean, today I was in, in, in uh, Peckham, um, came out of Peckham Rye Station, there's a little tunnel there and there's a, a bed there. So clearly someone is, is you know, a bed with, with, with uh, blankets and a mattress of sorts. Um, the rough sleeper wasn't there, but that would be where they would, I, they would come back to of an evening. So, you know, that's, that's part of what's happening in our world today and very, very sad indeed. So that was what was on my mind, what was on my heart and I've thought I'd share that with you. Um, tomorrow is another busy day, it's, well today I should say it's Friday, busy day. Um, I have uh, some stuff to do, I've got some personal appointments to attend to um, and I've, I've, I'm going to also hopefully be able to squeeze in my Friday radio show. Um, so, day 26, eh? Wow. Wonderful. Take good care. Almost did 10 minutes, amazingly enough. Um, take good care and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.